Uh, my name is uh, Lieutenant Dave Ferran. And could you spell it? It's uh, D A V I D F O R A N. Okay, and your rank? First Lieutenant. I am the S4 Alpha for Headquarters Battalion. Thanks, sir. Um, so, when you first met uh, Sergeant Siri, what was your uh, impression? My initial impression, um, she had just come to us from Okinawa, uh, Corporal. She uh, was a hard charger, definitely started contributing right away, and uh, working hard taking over as ammo chief for the uh, Headquarters Battalion S4. Uh, now, did you ever expect her to be, you know, like an MMA fighter? Um, at first I did not, but uh, as I kind of learned her personality, it, it, it made more sense, uh, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so now that she uh, has you know, had her first professional fight, how, how do you feel about that? Uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty cool. I think uh, her strengths as a Marine and an NCO uh, play into her uh, strengths as an MMA fighter, you know, being aggressive, hardworking. Uh, disciplined. I think all those things kind of fit into the MMA spectrum as well as, you know, obviously her job as a United States Marine. I see. So, um, now being a Marine, do you think it's beneficial to be involved in not necessarily combat sports, but, you know, just extra, extracurricular activities in general? Oh, I definitely think it's very important for uh, to be involved in extracurricular activities, particularly those of us, you know, being involved in, like, sports and exercise. Uh, kind of helps uh, add to the PT part of, uh, you know, the whole Marine, and uh, it definitely is beneficial in our shop. Uh, you know, her doing constant workouts and regimens, she can really take a lead in PT and everything else. I see. Now, outside of just, you know, the physical attributes you gain from that sort of sport, uh, what, what other benefits do you think uh, people might get from it? Um, I, I think that uh, other benefits include, you know, it teaches you hardness, it teaches you discipline, and I think it builds on those traits. Obviously, she already has those traits resident within her person, uh, being a Marine. But uh, I think that, you know, being an MMA fighter on the side also adds to those and helps her develop those traits independently of the Marine Corps. Now, how, how would you describe uh, Sergeant Sears' leadership style? Um, I would say her leadership style is very much uh, lead from the front. Uh, she definitely takes the lead in uh, working hard to, you know, show others that you can work hard by working hard. Uh, she is aggressive and uh, takes a lot of initiative and uh, every day she kind of works towards her goals and uh, keeps kind of pushing the envelope in her billet. Now, the Marines uh, in your shop, how do, how do you think they view her and uh, what about her do you think they look up to? I think they, uh, obviously, first and foremost, look to her as a leader. Uh, I think they can look up to her as an example of what an NCO should be. Uh, Hardworking, uh, dedicated, she cares about her Marines, obviously, but at the same time, she uh, finds the balance between maintaining the discipline of the shop, but also being a mentor and kind of lending an ear to those Marines when they need it. I see. Um, now, she's finally hit her first professional fight. Where, where do you think that she can go with this sport? Well, you know, seeing her first two fights, uh, you know, she's very aggressive, and uh, she definitely gets at it with her opponents. Um, I think she has a bright future uh, in the sport of MMA. Uh, you know, she's hardworking and uh, aggressive, and she's not afraid to take the fight to her enemy or her opponent. In uh, what way would you, uh, would you say she motivates the Marines around her? Uh, I think she motivates the Marine Corps. The Marines around her, she kind of has a fire, and she kind of lights a fire under the Marines around her. And uh, I think that's, that's exactly what we look for in uh, someone, you know, in her position. I see. Um, now, somebody who's never met her, uh, what do you think the first thing they would think about after they met her? The first impression they'd think about? Um, I think they'd see her, uh, her dedication to the Marine Corps. And uh, I think they'd also, you know, see her as a person of, uh, you know, many different talents and uh, kind of has a kind of a very well-rounded, uh, intelligent person. Could you give me a brief summary of, you know, what type of person, person she is? Not necessarily just a Marine, but in general? Um, I, I think as a whole person, she, she's a very well-rounded person. Uh, she's, you know, worked and obtained a degree in academics. Um, she volunteers. She fights. Uh, she's an excellent Marine and NCO. So I, I think 
overall as a person she develops herself in many different areas which lends to her performance uh, you know as an MMA fighter but also especially as in a performance as a marine I think she has a, a wide perspective on a range of a variety of things and that makes her a very well-rounded NCO and a very well-rounded marine